I'm back with another one. Today I'm going to be making salted caramel cookie bar from coconutsandkettlebells.com with, of course, some substitutions. The recipe calls for two and a half cups of natural almond flour, sorry, of fresh almond flour. I'll be substituting that with natural almond flour because that's what I found in the bulk section <coughs> of my grocery store. I'm already preheating the oven at 370 degrees, though the recipe calls for 350 degrees because my oven thinks, seems to think 370 degrees is 350 degrees. So this is one cup of natural almond flour. Second cup. Also get from the bulk section. No substitution is needed there. Half a cup of tapioca flour. ingredients for now. It says to mix this in and then mix mostly the wet ingredients but coconut sugar as well. So that is not a wet ingredient, right? Okay. 
am I saying good? But let me center this. <laughs> coconut sugar and the wet ingredients coconut sugar I also get from the box section I feel like I get everything from the box section y'all sugar even if the recipe doesn't call for it because it's one of the most accessible and reasonably priced not refined so unrefined um sugar like it's not cane sugar basically is what i mean and it's compliant with a lot of diets i don't think it's compliant with keto though but okay so i'll be back with the to add the wet ingredients I just need to grab them okay guys so I got my wet ingredients and I'm going to put them in now the recipe calls for a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of raw honey but honestly I don't like my stuff to be that sweet because I'm substituting the dark chocolate chips that the recipe called for the semi-sweet chocolate chips so I'm going to put in less honey one tablespoon Substituting the ghee that the recipe called for with vegan butter. Just because that's what I have, not because I recommend it or anything. Actually, I'm gonna let this cool for a bit because it's a bit hot and it's so warm. It. So I'm gonna let it cool. to warm it to melt it to the microwave that's a good one. It also calls for two eggs which I'm also going to substitute with vegan um, eggs. And again, that's just because that's what I have. So let me put this out of the way for a second and show you how I make the vegan egg. You can also use any other vegan egg of your choice like that egg or whatever you have. I'm basically using what I have to create this recipe or what I can find easily in the box section. And this says to create one egg is, so this is what I'm using by the way. And it says to create one egg, you mix one and a half teaspoon in one tablespoon of water. So, 
So it's going to need three teaspoons in two tablespoons of water. Let's do this. videos would make it like more difficult to cook on it. But it actually makes me a lot cleaner and more organized. I actually like it. Recording. <laughs> okay. And then blend it up in the Nutri bullet and then transfer it. Yep. The water needs to be warm. And the meat, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. I think that's the only powder I'm making here. And then the chocolate chips, of course. One and a half teaspoon of vanilla. So, back here. Okay, and one, I don't think I have enough actually, oh, oh well, I'll get more vanilla next time. <laughs> and then we're going to get the two tablespoons of warm water. Oh sorry, I wanted to show you guys. One tablespoon in already, two tablespoons. I'm just gonna blend this up in a new triple X and put it in here. water <clears throat> so mm, that was like it looks really thick y'all that's the same spoon I used to scoop the honey that's why the spoon is that color okay let's do that then Just use what you have. That's literally what I'm preaching. 
kitchen and then quarter cup of butter now that it's cooled down a bit people like to use cold butter because if you use warm butter and you're actually using eggs you could cook the eggs so that's why people like to do that this is not real butter and not real eggs either so kind of good for sure okay i believe that is all chocolate chips that I will fold in after I mix this. This is actually pretty thick. Oh right, because I only put two tablespoons of honey versus four quarter cup, which is four tablespoons, plus one tablespoon, which is five. So I'm going to use three tablespoons of water to make up for the Honey, I'm not putting because that's probably why the mixture is so thick. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't have enough of the liquid that it should have, or as much of the liquid as it should have. Did I substitute any other liquid? No. So we're good. Okay, if you don't have vegan butter, you can just use oil. In my mind, I feel like oil and butter are the same anyway. So this is not incorporating. This is something I normally notice when I substitute natural almond flour or blanched almond flour, because it tends to need more water. So I'm just gonna put in a tablespoon at a time so I get what I'm looking for in terms of consistency. And so it basically comes together because I don't really know what I'm looking for. I didn't watch a video guys, I'm just following the recipe. Let me put the more tablespoons first. And we'll go from there. The recipe said this was supposed to make, I think, like 20 caramel bars. I don't know how that is possible, especially since we're going to layer it twice. But okay, I think it's actually fine now. is not making tiny cookies like what? No. One cup of my fancy chocolate chips that I got from the bowl section. The recipe called for dark but I didn't like some of the ingredients in the semi sweet smell in the box section. But the ingredients in this one was simple. And ingredients that I knew, so I'll just that one for that. And stuff, because there was like dextrose. And the dark chocolate chip on my what is dextrose? I don't want that. So this is a cup. Looks like a lot from this small thing, but can you pass with the mist if possible? And we're following instructions here. So not the ingredients, but instructions. For the most part. I'm feeling like, did I? not put enough or something like this feels like a lot less than it should be but anyway let's just fold it in we're not mixing here we're just 
anything in it. Okay. Crips are clear not like that so much. But. Okay. Alright, so this is our batter. And this dough is not much, so I don't think I need this cake as much. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe I should actually use what I was going to use before. And I should have done this to make the recipe. Use regular parchment paper, but I'm gonna try this one because I get tired of this regular parchment paper and it's never like hot. Never hot, 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 it's supposed to be really simple, so good. What I like to do is first use my avocado oil. So well the pan. Let me pick up my uh, preheat my oven again because it had already preheated. I'm not the fastest baker, you know, and I feel like I'm even faster now that I'm recording. Still not fast at all. Okay, so this is the pickup packing paper. I'm just going to put it in here. I always use paper and paper because I use the heavy of these two a lot easier to bring out. So I always keep it good enough for that stick. Whatever you're baking. By the way, I didn't put enough. So I'm going to use half, about half, to create the bottom layer. Okay. A little less than half is what the last piece is. So, mm -hmm. bottom of this pan. And is it a 9 by 9 pan? This is even less than that. <sighs> yeah, I don't understand how some how they estimated the um, 20 cookies like what? Yeah. No way this is going to get you Swing cookies. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if I were to them with it? But anyway, let's go.
this time I'm gonna make caramel sauce. to a boil so it thickens. I'll come back and show you how that more cup. Sorry. No. Ma'am. Coconut milk. I hope you can see that. And then one third cup of coconut sugar, a heat cup though. Um three quarter of a cup was recommended and half a cup was suggested to also be fine. But I feel like this is ready to sweep some going to this. I'll be right back. So I'm back, y'all. So let me just explain what I've done. I brought the coconut milk and sugar I showed you earlier to a boil, and then it was too, that pot was too small. So I transferred it to this bigger pot and I let it simmer so it became thick in this color. Almost so the only thing I for it to do is burn. Is what I did. Now I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract that I don't have because I'm not. And half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna add the salt. Because I'm out of the vanilla extract. Add a little salt. They said you should add that when it's off the heat. I'm eyeballing half a teaspoon here. And then I'm going to mix it in. I transfer this into a container. And then you're supposed to put the quarter cup on here. But I'm just going to eyeball that also. I think it's really that the, the recipe said this would make 20 cups and 20 cookies because it's like so small. It's definitely not making 20 cookies. It's going to contain a really cool. Let me just put what I want to put here, here first. And then I'll put the top layer. And put it back in the oven for um, how long again? I think 17 minutes it said. It would have baked the bottom one for a bit longer because honestly I just forgot it on there in the oven for a bit longer than I should have. Let me use a spoon. That's better. To get everything. It says to taste the quarter cup, but I'm just going to eyeball it.
this caramel cookie was oh, not like I've made this one before, but this one I used to buy from a vegan store, and that's why I was looking for a recipe that I used to replicate. I just love that store. I've replicated another one of their recipes, but that recipe came directly from them. This one is it's beginning to spill now, so that's really much stuff. But this recipe literally needs to try. Then it says to sprinkle some coarse sea salt. I also got this from the bulk section. I already put fine sea salt in it, but hey, I guess it's a way for the salt and sweet taste. Right? And then gently put the top layer over. Let's try and do that gently. <laughs> Not to mess it up. And put my bowl. And then just flatten it out. And then I'm going to like put that there. Just like so. <laughs> oh my gosh. You better put my caramel cookie. Don't spill all out. I'm really getting happy. Oh my gosh, if you're a foodie like me, I'm almost still, mine is spilling y'all, maybe I should have put it towards the sleeper. Is that why it's falling? Should I have waited for the caramel to thicken up more? Maybe I should have. Guys, I don't know. I'm not a professional baker. I'm just gonna try. I feel like it's gonna lose even more when it's baking, but maybe it won't. So that is it, guys. Into the oven, back into the oven, she goes for. about I think twice the height of what my, the recipe creator may have been thinking and also I can cut this into like one two three into eight easy so well maybe you can make like 15 maybe 20 is still a little bit of a stretch but anyway I'm gonna let this cool I'm 
I'm gonna let this cool down and then pop it in the fridge for a bit before I show you how it looks because it's still hot and it needs to be cool for the caramel not to fall out and all of that but yeah this should give me like one two three probably like eight and it's probably twice as high as the recipe creator was thinking so maybe you can actually give it like 16 and if you stretch it 20. so yeah i baked it for like 10 or to 15 minutes longer than the recipe creator recommended which was 17 to 18 minutes 18 minutes or so and i find that when i use the natural almond flour as opposed to the blanched one i do need to bake it for a little bit longer so i'm gonna let it cool pop it in the fridge for a while before i come out and do the taste test which might even be tomorrow because <laughs> it's kind of late here guys <laughs> 